friends welcome back in this session i am going to talk about couple of uh, uh, problems that we uh, have to sort out or solve uh, with respect to mips in the previous session i gave you a binary uh, like this this is this is what i code i gave you i gave you an instruction which has to be decoded uh, into its mips instruction format this is actually uh, a format which you had decoded to get finally what is the result and this is what you uh, drew down finally in that now what i'm going to give you is i'm going to give you this i mean the instruction mips instruction and i will ask you to bring it down to the binary so this is what i'm going to give you right now and it's a very simple exercise uh, only thing that you need to remember is s0 to s7 are always mapped to 16 to 23 t0 to t7 is always mapped to 8 to 15 this one you should not forget and now let us take the instruction and t1 s0 s2 s1 s1 and s0 are to be added and the result has to go to t1 so representing this in rtl dollar t1 arrow s0 plus s1 this is what rtl is all about now we know as per the instruction add rd rs rt so rs is s0 rs is s0 so now this one will be s0 rd is s1 this one will be s1 rd is destination and this one will be t1 now rs is s0 s0 is equivalent to 16 so i need to mark 16 here you can see that 8 4 2 1 16 8 4 2 1 this is 16 rt is 17 i have marked it as 17 here rd is t1 t1 is represented as uh, 9 so it is 0 1 0 0 so these three columns i have filled properly now op code i know what is the op code for all add type instructions or r type instructions op code is 0 so it is filled up properly 6 bits filled with 0 shift i am not going to use not applicable hence it is also 0 this is an add instruction hence i will go with a function code of 32 which can be represented as 1 followed by 5 zeros that's it this is how you will have to encode the instruction in binary this is a very simple exercise you can take it for any instruction and try next one is going to be very very uh, easier exercise again uh, falling in line with whatever we have done earlier but it is a different instruction and instruction i am going to take and right now to uh, just explain you how exactly it works now see that and dollar s1 dollar t1 dollar t2 now what type of instruction it is it is going to be r type instruction we have three registers available this is going to be called as rs this is going to be called as rt this is going to be called as rd so now i will have to put s1 here i will have to put t1 uh, i mean this s1 will be the destination here t1 will be the rs t2 will be rt now i'll i'll clear the screen so as to uh, get you a better understanding now see that again s1 is called the destination i'll come here t1 is called as rs t2 is called as rt that's all so t1 is represented normally as 9 a uh, t2 is represented as 10 let us first fill these two appropriately now you can see that and and s1 t1 t2 is what we need to fill now what will be the case here now t1 will correspond to you can see that here i have i have made it corresponding the values are mentioned here t1 is called 9 so what i need to do is in rs i need to put 9 1 0 0 1, 1 will be the value here since it is 5 bits i will put one more zero here rt it is t2 it is 10 so 0 1 0 1 0 0 this is rt rd i know what is it s1 s1 is always 17 so i need to make it 1 0 0 0 0 1 that's it if i make it and fill rest of the columns this is 0 this is all zeros and function code for and you need to know what is the function code for and i have mentioned it in the table that whatever i have given you earlier but even then it is uh, advisable to keep all the function codes in hand when you uh, proceed further so it's a, it's a it's a easier way to simply uh, convert or encode whatever instruction you have in front of you as binary the value for uh, and is 40 the function code will be 40 and you can uh, see that here uh, sorry it's not 40 Uh, 32 16 8 4 2 1 so 32 plus 4 it is 36 36 is the value for and that's all so i have taken a different instruction here and s1 s2 and s3 
which means S1 is equal to S2 plus S3. I have filled it most appropriately just like what I did earlier. Now you can see that this one is going to be RS, this one is going to be RT, this one will be RD. So S1 is RD, RD is filled with the value of 17 and that's what I have given here. And S2 is RS, RS is filled with the value of 18 and that's what is given here. And S3 is nothing but RT, it's filled with the value of 19 here. That's it. This is how you can encode the instruction correspondingly for the given input. It's a very simple exercise. I hope you guys have understood what I tried to convey. I'll get back to you with more problems in the near future. Thank you very much for following my channel. If at all you have any query, you can uh, post it across. I'll try to answer it. Thank you.